fundamental for yoga practices. They are related to our social conduct, to our inner conduct, to physical activities, to uh, breathing techniques to increase prana, to have the ability to focus them, our mind just one trend, to start to um, be capable of maintaining our mind in just one spot, to start to dissolve our attention in the flow of events and then to finally um, be one with the universe. These eight limbs of yoga, there are several books, several masters have spoken about it. And the main idea is that we need a very comprehensive approach to yoga. Yoga is much more than physical activity and pranayama. Yoga is much more than a very old and traditional practice in India. Yoga is any kind of action that uh, we take to increase our ability to be spiritual. And these eight limbs of yoga, according to Patanjali Yoga Sutras, are a systematization of this tradition. It's not the only one, and Ashtanga Yoga is not about uh, having a muscular strength and doing a lot of exercises. Ashtanga Yoga is just a full program of spiritual development. It does not depend really on your religion. There are some cultural values that are present there, like non-violence and this kind of stuff, not stealing, being clean. There are ten um, broad physical and social uh, values that are important. So our mind gets purified. But you don't need to be a Hindu to practice yoga. And also, not all kind of yoga needs to be Hinduistic. When we practice Ayurveda, our body gets better because our metabolic digestion is improved. And when we start to do yoga, our subtle body, pranamaya, manamaya, kosha, 
is also purified by daily practice. Yoga, in a more comprehensive and broader um, view, is a thing that you should or you must be doing like at least one hour by day. It doesn't matter so much if you're chanting mantras, if you are meditating, if you are um, cooking or anything. But you have to be full attention what you're doing and uh, be capable of also observing the things that are going around without losing your presence in what you're doing. So you can be doing yoga while you're driving. If you're interested in practicing a little bit more about this spiritual life, it's better to have assistance from another person. Not only books and not only videos. Because when we practice a spiritual development program, it's going to be for your life and for your karma and for your spiritual growth. So, if you like this perspective, this Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyotish perspective, there are a lot of people that can give counseling to you in the place you live or by the internet. But be careful to do this all by your own. Because it can be dangerous. And can uh, render very bad results. You can get harm, your mind can get disturbed. If you think that life is more than is not only material fun or material pleasure, then you're ready to start to walk in a spiritual path. Doesn't depend on religion. If you have a religion, it's okay also. But spirituality is the core essence of our existence, existence in the Vedic culture. And if you like this approach, this Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyotish by Namaste, you can also contact me by email to see how we can give this counseling. But it's important for you to find a person that talks to your heart and not only to your brain. There is no such a thing as the best teacher, guru, doctor for everyone in every times, in every place. The most difficult part is to find one that you believe and then stick to it at least for one, five years. Because it's not going to be in one single day that things are going to start to change. It takes time, lifetimes. Namaste. If you want to have online consultations, please contact my email namaste.tiago at gmail.com. Namaste!